Hey everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a video where we're going to talk about five big features that Hogwarts Legacy needs in order to live up to its potential. Now, I've titled this video five features that Hogwarts Legacy needs because I really do think that with these five features, the game is so much more likely to be successful than if we have none of these things. So we're going to go one to five. I've put quite a lot of detail in them, so hopefully you will enjoy and do make sure that at some point you let me know down in the comments, what do you think to these ideas and do you have any any ideas of your own. So the first thing I want to talk about is an in-depth and immersive tutorial. Now, on the face of it, this probably doesn't sound so exciting. However, Hogwarts Legacy has an opportunity to turn what is often quite a weak part of an open world game, and lots of games to be fair, a slow tutorial which you're eager to get through so that you can actually explore the game properly, into a magical adventure in itself. So a lot of the time in these videos, I try and revert back to the original Harry Potter story because I think we can learn an awful lot from what made that so special and so successful. So for me, the tutorial in this game is a fantastic opportunity to capture the magic we felt when Harry explored Diagon Alley in the Philosopher's Stone. It was just full of mystery, full of intrigue and full of magic. Now this would mean that the tutorial teaches you the basics whilst you enjoy every second exploring an immersive magical location. My pick would obviously be Diagon Alley because you can pretty much do everything you need to in a tutorial there. And taking in the wizarding world at the same time and all its quirks, I think it would just kind of stop it being boring because sometimes tutorials can be boring. But if you're going through Diagon Alley and really immersing yourself in, in all of it, that would make the tutorial fun and it would really get the game off to a good start. The next feature I really want to see is some sort of club mechanic. Now, although clubs such as the Potions Clubs and Dueling Club, which we saw in the story of Harry Potter, didn't actually exist back in the late 19th century when this game is set, I don't think this should necessarily be an unbreachable barrier to their entry. And I do think inclusion of clubs or something like it for things such as those and others like Fantastic Beasts and Wizard's Chest would be brilliant on two levels. So firstly, clubs are obviously a good place to improve your skill, which relates to a certain activity. For a little bit of context, as I said in my previous video, I'm really hoping that Hogwarts Legacy allows players to choose from and develop a variety of skills and abilities in game. Regarding clubs, one example of how this should work is if you're putting time into dueling club, you're going to be increasing your skill level and developing new abilities relating to dueling, allowing you to develop your character and shape your skills how you want them. Secondly, and I personally think more interestingly, clubs would also be a great addition to any relationship mechanics. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying they want a detailed friendship and maybe even romantic relationship mechanic. So hopefully it's something which we get in the game that the game does a good job of. So in relation to clubs specifically, it would not only be a good place to spend more time with fellow pupils and develop your relationships as you would with literally anybody else you spent time with in the game, but also because of a clear common interest and membership of the same club. It could also act as a positive relationship modifier, making it easier to get friendly with individuals in the same club, and maybe even unlocking things like unique club quests, allowing you to build your relationship that way too. The possibility of clubs in Hogwarts Legacy, for me, holds a lot of potential, and hopefully this or something similar is something that the developers will bring to the game. So building on what I literally just talked about, Quidditch should also have a club, but its importance should be far bigger than that of the other clubs I just mentioned. So yes, on a basic level, Quidditch club should work as the clubs do above, affecting your relationship with other pupils who are also members. But here, you should also be able to pick your position, develop your Quidditch ability with the ultimate aim of making your house team and winning the cup. So basically, you're taking the club thing to another level. So for all of this to work, obviously, it will require a type of in-depth and crucially fun Quidditch game within Hogwarts Legacy. There's literally no point doing it if the Quidditch itself feels cheap and rushed. But I do think that Quidditch should feature in Hogwarts Legacy and have a lot of impact. Another thing that would set Quidditch apart from the other clubs is that if you play well in competitive games of Quidditch and maybe even win the cup for your house as I just mentioned, that should affect your fame and prestige within the whole school and therefore not just modify your relationship with other club members but modify how your relationship works with every single student and maybe even staff member in the school. 
So, like, let's be honest, if you're famous, some are going to get starstruck and be more easily swayed towards you, and others, especially in other houses, are going to get resentful and jealous. So there's a lot of positive and negative ways that this and the relationship modifiers within it could work. Now, whether Quidditch and your performances at it have the impact that I've discussed in this section or not, I do definitely think that Quidditch should play a role in Hogwarts Legacy, and because we can actually see the Quidditch pitch in the trailer, maybe that's a hint that there's a good chance it will happen. The next feature I want to talk about is that there should be the ability to fully explore Hogwarts with an awful lot to do and find within its walls. There's a lot of talk about how this game is open world and with that, what kind of locations we'll be able to visit outside of the walls of Hogwarts. But let's not forget, the most interesting of all places to explore in this game surely will be and should be Hogwarts itself. To summarise, exploration of Hogwarts should be on like two levels. Firstly, there's everything you are meant to see from the library to the grand staircase, with lots of classes you can attend, plus lots, lots more, hopefully. And then there's the bits of the castle which you might want to explore at night or in secret. You know, things you're not meant to see and visit, like maybe the Chamber of Secrets or other things like that. I think ultimately what I'm trying to say is that there should be a ton of things to do and explore within Hogwarts. Maybe I'll go into more detail in the future, but having a detailed Hogwarts experience with tons to do and that's really immersive, I think is very important for this game. So the final feature I want to discuss in this video is seasons and yes I know this is something others have mentioned but I think there's more that can be added and it is a feature that I believe would enhance the experience in this game notably. So at a very basic level this obviously means that the game moves through seasons allowing for you to experience all different parts of the year at Hogwarts probably with different seasons offering unique challenges and a unique feel. I think this was a big part of the books and films which helped with the feeling of progression within the story and especially with the visuals in the film helped keep us immersed in the magic of Hogwarts. Halloween and Christmas in the Philosopher's Stone is just like ludicrously magical, it just is. Obviously then for these reasons, seasons are undoubtedly a good idea and it's no surprise that they are so highly requested. However, I really think that there is a possibility of going further than just changing the weather and little things like that. As I just alluded to, each season should offer unique elements ranging from things such as unique fantastic beasts that you can engage with, unique seasonal themed quests to complete, unique seasonal enemies to battle, and the little things like seasonal clothing you can change between because it's about our experience in Hogwarts Legacy and matching your clothes with the seasons and them little things are sort of what's going to make role playing this game really fun. Also I'd love to see yearly events which correspond to that time of year. For example once every year in the month of October the game could attain an autumnal Halloween theme with lots of unique customizables which you can unlock and much more. Maybe a spell that turns your enemies into pumpkins, maybe Halloween themed clothing, just little things like that which would make it unique and add to the replayability. Now this type of event could be every couple of months and, and like I said I think they're good ideas um, and would add a lot to replayability. Now don't get me wrong, events such as Halloween and Christmas should be in the game regardless of whether they correspond to the timing of events in real life or not. Part of me does think that only having Halloween at Hogwarts once a year wouldn't be enough, especially when you consider that how often do people play games like this for year after year. But exploring a Christmas themed Hogwarts when it's actually Christmas in real life sounds pretty magical to me, so I'm probably going to stick with this bit. Okay, so that's it for my suggested features that I think Hogwarts Legacy needs, but what do you think to my suggestions? And also, what suggestions do you have of your own? Let me know in the comments. It'd be really cool to chat with you down there. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you want to see another one of our Hogwarts Legacy videos, then check out the video in the box below. Also, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and share it with a friend. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex, and I will see you in another video soon.